We're here today with Rosalind Carrasco. Uh, she has a history of an L45 spondylolisthesis and she is 10 weeks post-op from a minimally invasive lumbar spinal fusion and she's been gracious enough to stop by today to uh, tell us a little bit about her experience not only with the surgery but also why she had the surgery. So welcome. Thank you doctor. <laughs> so um, you have a history of back pain and leg pain. When is the first time you remember having any trouble with your back? So it's not the coolest um, injury or way to obtain it. I was 16, I was a cheerleader and I was a base and um, a flyer stood on my shoulders and I don't know what or why, but when she stood on this shoulder, there was immediately a piercing pain that went to the lower um, part of my back, especially the right part. I couldn't get her off immediately because I needed her to be safe. So we got her off, but it just never went away after 16. So I'm 44 now. <laughs> hey, we don't have to tell all of this. <laughs> um, so after that, what, what did you do? Physical therapy, chiropractic treatment, what other types of treatment did yes, you try? Yes, 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 and yes, I did physical therapy. I saw chiropractors. I got injections, um, epidurals. I did, I'm a yoga instructor. I did yoga. I even got acupuncture. So if there was something to try, I tried it. Um, but it just, it was more of a band-aid. Don't tell me you were a little afraid of the idea of doing surgery on the back. Yes, I called, <laughs> I called and set up an appointment about three times and I chickened out each time until the fourth time and I was just in so much pain that I just had to try something. Now, why did you choose us? Was it because of our fantastic YouTube videos? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a police officer, and there had been several coworkers that had gone to you, and they told me, you got to try this doctor. He's great. And um, just, I have no pain, you know, not less pain or minimal pain. And I would call, not do it, cancel at the last minute, but all of them had had the same answer and that was that it wasn't reduced pain the pain was gone and some of these were five years ago ten years ago you know up to two years ago so you're saying people who we had done surgery on that the pain went away and they were happy yes excellent um now as far as the surgery itself um was it more painful than you expected less painful did i did i build up the process enough you know you you had prepared me um, wonderfully. It wasn't that bad of a procedure. I've had operations for body issues before, and um, no, I recovered quickly. You, you did have me up and walking around, and that was good. It was, it was very well. The, the staff was do, great. The you do, yes. the better you do. Yes. <laughs> okay, so the day of surgery, quite a bit of pain, not too bad, or what, how would you describe that? I was in quite a bit of pain. When I called you, that's when it was like either you get this done or you're just going to be in pain forever. So yeah, I, I was in a lot of pain before surgery. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, so after the surgery, um, do you remember coming back to the office, say two weeks after surgery? What was that like? It was already, and one thing I can even say the day of surgery, after I had, of course I was medicated, but the day after, or the day I got the surgery, when I came back or came to I noticed the difference immediately. It was still better than going in. After being operated on, opened up, it was still better than it was before. Excellent. Um, any other questions or anything that you have concerns about? If you have reservations, you don't have to live in pain. You don't have to um, be in chronic pain. You know, I, I was, it was 20, over 25 years. And um, I wish I'd come before. There's a better way, a pain-free way to live. Uh, he's a great doctor. He'll answer your questions. Another thing that I had loved, because I talked to people that you did not do surgery on that had met with you, and I was very appreciative because you pointed out other therapy for them. So you're not just trying to cut people open. You really care. And if there's an alternative therapy, you're going to make sure those that's exhausted, which you did with me as well. And I <laughs> appreciate that. Well, I'm very happy that you're feeling well. And so life now is good. You're doing well. I feel like a nine-year-old kid. I just, I'm in no pain. Um, and it's it's wonderful. I remember the first few weeks, I'd, I knew if I moved a certain way before surgery that 
I had to prepare myself and I kind of clenched my jaw and I'd have to remind myself, hey, you don't have to do that anymore. You're, you're healed now. Excellent. So wonderful. Uh, and then so you're a police officer and then you also teach yoga. Are you back teaching yoga now? Yes, yes. I started teaching yoga um, a couple weeks afterward. And I am a police officer and it's, I'm just, you can do whatever. So this applies any of any person, any walk of life, you know, it, it can be better. Excellent. You give Dr. Smith a call. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So some of the milestones that I've reached, the biggest one is just not being in pain and not living in fear, especially with exercise yoga. And um, I have to wear a lot of equipment sometimes um, as an officer. And um, there's always that fear of what if everything goes wrong or I'd be very, very tender, you know, afterward in yoga or police work. And now I'm walking straight. If I exercised before when my body was warm, I'd be okay, but it took so long. And I mean, it's pinching, piercing pain. And anybody that has this pain knows exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have to break it down. But right afterward, I would just be like this, you know, so it was just like trying to put a Band-Aid on a broken bone. It's a very major surgery. I think back surgery and brain surgery, that's about as, as major as you get. So that was obviously um, one of my reservations. And I heard horror stories. You're the only doctor that I didn't hear horror stories about. Like I didn't hear anything bad. Um, but I've heard people have told me in the past, don't do it. Whatever you do, don't get back surgery. It's just a last resort. You're always worse afterward. And that was part of what made me afraid to do it. Um, and you know, it's it's funny. I guess things have come a long way, especially with the type of surgery yeah. that you offer. The technology certainly has changed. It's a lot less invasive than it used to be. I always jokingly say that, you know, the way we fix it today, five years ago, I couldn't have imagined doing it this way. If you told me about it, it would be like, what? No, you know. Surgery for the spine, the technology changes as quickly as, say, surgery for cell phones, you know. Mm -hmm. and you could imagine what it would be like, say, 10 years ago, trying to explain to somebody what an iPhone was like, you know. It would be impossible. Right. I think you were crazy, you know. And that's kind of the way I look at uh, spine surgery, too. The technology advances so quickly. Um, but you're also right that um, people are told time and time again, don't do surgery on the back, you'll be worse, everyone's worse. And that's just so ingrained in our society. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why I like to take the time to do these videos, because that's not really true. You know, so many, most people do much better with the surgery and they're very happy they did it. And I completely agree with that. And you made me so comfortable before I went to the hospital. You explained everything, you were completely honest. And I felt very reassured pulling up to the, the hospital on the day of surgery. I had no reservations or concerns. Any uh, criticisms about us? Anything you could think of? Anything we could improve? If you had questions, were we easy to able, easily able to get in contact with us? You know, I have nothing negative to say. You were great. <laughs> Everybody was approachable, um, polite, explained the process, explained when I could safely go back to work um, and why it's important to let yourself heal. And um, no, I honestly have no criticisms, no complaints whatsoever. Excellent. I certainly appreciate you coming by today, and uh, I'm sure you'll continue to do well. Thank you, Doctor, <laughs> likewise. And I think I'm going to come take one of your yoga classes. Yes, come by. <laughs> I think that's the least I can do. <laughs> you just, you don't have to live in this kind of pain. It's a phone call away, and he'll walk you through everything, and he'll be honest with you. So. There's no need to be in pain. Give Dr. Smith a call. <laughs> <laughs> I love it.